For a half century now, we've been dazzled by these tantalizing glimpses of personal flying vehicles, just waiting, it seems, for one to come along that was safe enough for the general public. Small helicopters are very stable because they have all the weight below, like a pendulum. But flying platforms like these have the advantage of very precise weight shift control, which is also as easy to learn as for a bicycle. Today, several new models of platforms and helicopters are available, like this one from Japan. The lift jet keeps the best features of both the platform and the helicopter. You can get learn weight shift of the platform, and it's even more stable in flight than a helicopter. Because it's super efficient, it only needs a small gas engine, which is lightweight and inexpensive. A small diameter enclosed disc can fly amongst ground clutter. If the engine goes out, none of these other types have any secondary means of a soft landing. But the lift jet has this patent pending descenting system. If the engine quits and the lift jet begins to descend, these vanes automatically swing open, instantly transforming the lift jet into a parachute glider a safe descent in any circumstances. In summary, the easy to learn weight shift control system is similar to a bicycle. The dual vortex lifting disc gives amazing performance. And the lift jet is at least as safe as a paraglider, where you get towed behind a boat, for example. But of course, it's just way more fun than that, because obviously you can fly wherever you want. And before long, all the better resorts will have lift jet rentals. So, Will this new type of safe personal flyer go down as one of the greatest inventions of the 21st century? At the very least, it represents a vast new recreational market. Hi, I'm Glenn Weaver, and I'm here to introduce the LiftJet 7, the tandem two-seat personal flying vehicle with vertical takeoff capability. And I'm also going to explain why it's destined to become the most successful recreational vehicle in the history of the world. This latest model is the ultimate development of the LiftJet design philosophy, which is essentially this. One, a huge potential market exists, which is primed and ready to tap into right now. Two, this market of casual flyers and recreational weekend pilots depends entirely upon one issue, safety. Anyone, any manufacturer who proposes to put people up there has to be able to pretty much guarantee they get back down safely in every conceivable circumstance. So that's why I've given the lift yet this assembly of descent vanes and also uh, along the side. In actuality, these descent vanes constitute a sort of rigid parachute which is equal to about an 18 or 19 foot diameter circular parachute. So that if anything goes wrong, just like a parachute, it will flow gently to the surface. And it can be towed like a parasail. Incidentally, these three main elements, the descent vanes, the lifting rotor, and the fuselage, constitute what is at the, the heart of the lift jet patent. But, there's a wide variety of configurations within that patent. For instance, you'll notice that the LiftJet Model 3 with the rotor disc on top and the descent vanes below has a radically different look from the LiftJet 7. And yet, they're both made up from the same three elements. This is an important aspect of the LiftJet patent from an investor's point of view because it really does cover every possible configuration of what is, in reality, an entirely new class of air vehicle. And you can check that for yourself, just how comprehensive the patent is, by looking at the drawings on the home page of flyliftjet.com. Here are some more quotes. I have a great belief in the aerodynamic and structural aspects of the LiftJet 7's design in that it is the safest and most innovative ever introduced amongst personal flying vehicles. I keep praying for the lift jet to become the personal flying vehicle in the very near future. I would gladly take you as an inspiration. 
And that's from Mr. Ganesh Rahman, who works at the Combustion Lab, Department of Aerospace Engineering at the Indian Institute of Technology. And I know that Mr. Rahman uh, obtained his, uh, did his thesis for his master's on VTOL flight, which makes this particular email especially meaningful to me. Personal flying vehicles are about to become a huge, huge market. And the lift jet is poised to be the leading contender and really the only safe alternative in that market. Millions of people worldwide are eager for and actually expecting to soon have the opportunity to experience the incomparable joy and freedom of personal flight. And the lift jet backyard flyer will very soon make that a reality. So investors can get in touch with me at my email, glennlever at shaw.ca. That's G-L-E-N-N-L-E-A-V-E-R at shaw, S-H-A-W dot C-A. And thank you for watching.